My name is Sam Peters. I'm comprehensively great looking, a natural blonde, and a highly intelligent one. I'm extremely tough, an exceptional journalist, and I hate modesty. I work for Uncharted. It's basically Playboy for scientists. Fewer naked women, fewer cars, more text. We report on excavations in, and expeditions to, the remotest corners of the world. The pay is, to be exact, pretty miserable. But you get adventure on tap, and that's the best bonus you could ask for. Although sometimes they're hairy, even for my taste. My latest trip took me to Indonesia, where local archaeologists had discovered an ancient temple complex in the jungle. Team members were disappearing one after another without trace. Turns out, it was terrorists. They kidnapped me. Then my old friend Max showed up and got me out of there. And here we are. He's off trying to get a whiff of the gang's plans. I'm supposed to inform the Indonesian authorities. Oh, and a volcano has now erupted and half of the island is in flames. I have no idea where Max is now, and I'm not going looking for him in this inferno. Anyway, it's supposed to be the man who goes through flames for the woman and not the other way around. My task is clear. I have to escape from this island and bring help from the mainland. Done it. Now let's hightail it out of here. Crap. This inflatable dinghy is missing some... Uh, inflation. Reminds me of my last relationship. So how am I supposed to get to the mainland now? Doesn't show any sign of stopping. I hope Max is alright. Max is in trouble. I need to get to the mainland and find help. When Max came here with this boat, it was in a considerably better state. A bullet hole, those bastards. What the hell is Max stashed in this box? Locked. Maybe I can get it open some other way. My goodness. Max and his weakness for fancy locking mechanisms. Interesting mechanism. I'm sure that by pushing the switch you can get Max's box open. What's that any good for? What's that any good for? What's that any good for? I hope all the trouble's been worth it. Boots and socks. A satellite phone would have been nice. Empty. A stripped down air pump. A message in a bottle. <laughs> this beach doesn't miss a single postcard cliche. There's a note inside the bottle. Definitely passed its sell-by date as a food source. But that claw might make a useful tool. Shards are lucky. can't translate this. It's either Indonesian or Malaysian. 
They're too big for me anyway. I'll cut a piece of rubber out. Volcano's out of control. Whatever it is I'm doing here, let's do it fast. Looks like an arrow. Best be careful. It could be a trap. I'll just take the one bone. No man is so great that a woman will go back into hell for him. And Max isn't all that in the first place. No, on this occasion, I'm going to respect that rule, make an exception to my own, and actually do what I'm told. So intense, this bush has caught fire. I'll jam the piece of rubber between the claws. Nice idea, but I'd burn my fingers doing that. I'll jam the crab claw onto the end. Like roasting marshmallows. You have to know when enough's enough. Melted enough? For your information, ignoramus, to filthy damp places, soft rubber sticketh not. Let's clean away this grease and sand. Perfect. A stripped down air pump. Let's get this dinghy back on the high seas. Now I can get out of here at last. I haven't phoned in for days. My editor will be going loopy. Home at last. First, I'm going to treat myself to a drink. And then I will listen to the 25 messages my charming editor has left for me. <laughs> he sounds a bit miffed because I've only just got back from Indonesia. <sighs> my excuses had better wait. He's already got a new job lined up for me. Oh, it's an important one by the sounds of it. Could be big for the magazine. I'd better not waste any time. Sure, a girl like me can find a new job really fast, but 
It still sounds like hassle I don't need. I'd best take the next flight to Berlin. I need to meet up with a Professor Hartman. He heads up a research group at Humboldt University, and our magazine is one of the sponsors of his Africa expedition. It seems that our professor is hot on the trail of some scientific sensation out there. <laughs> How often have I heard that shit? The sensation is usually some frothy bullshit that we can't even use to fill the summer news gap. Anyway, I'm clinging on to this job, which means I'm headed out to Africa with the professor at the next opportunity. I don't know exactly where we're going, so anything could be in store. <laughs> and that is exactly what I love about this damn job. The Biological Institute. This is where I'm supposed to meet Professor Hartman. The gate's locked. Yes, can I help you? Hello, my name is Peters. I've got an appointment with Professor Hartman. I'm sorry, but he's no longer in the building. What? But he wanted to meet me here this evening. According to our database, the professor is away on an expedition. He's already set off? But I was supposed to be going with him. Yes, well, not every department of this facility is as efficiently organized as the security department is. Shit. My boss is gonna go bananas when he finds out I've missed this shot. What am I supposed to do now? Can you hear me? Yes. Do you know where the professor was headed? No, but you could ask his secretary. Great. Where is she? Uh, Frau Muller has already left for the weekend. She'll be back Monday morning. Have you got her home number? We do. But I couldn't possibly give out private staff details to members of the public. Be patient and come back Monday. Patience is definitely not an option. No professor, no story. I need to find him as fast as I can. If I only knew where he was headed. Do you know exactly when the professor jilted me? Just a second. It looks like it was this morning. Now I'm really in a jam. Could you perhaps pop along to Professor Hartman's office and see if he's left a note for me? If he had left you a note, then it would be here at reception, I'm sure. Does Professor Hartman have a cell number by any chance? Eh, doesn't look like it. We only have his office number here. Could you perhaps imagine letting me into his office for just a mo? If you'd like to know precisely, no, not in my wildest dreams. But I wish you a refreshing, stress-free weekend. Same to you. With bells on. Looks like I'm gonna have to help myself. No gate stopped me before. I need to get into the professor's office to find out where he's gone. If I mess up this assignment, then that's my job out the window. There's a notice from garbage collection stuck on the letterbox. According to this, the BSR collects the waste paper first. Then another truck comes through the bio waste. The bulky stuff goes tomorrow. The waste paper collection's been and gone. Bio waste. Certainly the right color. Wow, that stinks. The waste paper's empty. A small rolled up carpet. Has someone lost their faith? The first accessory for my sailboat. Unfortunately, not all of the walls in Berlin got ripped down. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I can climb over the wall unscathed. But I'd end up in full view of the security camera. It's not gonna work as is.
the Humboldt University Biological Institute. The camera is directed at the entrance. It's only moved once, and that was when the garbage truck drove up, but only so far. It still keeps its original target area in sight. The curbstone is full of chalk marks. Kids? No idea if this is relevant at all. Well, okay, but just this once. Where is it supposed to go? Well, okay, but just this... Sounds like a good plan. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I could climb over, but then I'd be in full view of this. Now or never. <sighs> Made it. Now I somehow have to get into the Institute and find Professor Hartman's office. Would seem to be the main entrance. A plastic box. That's what comes from leaving your tools lying around. Clamp is solid. I can't get the hose off. The window on the upper floor is open. The perfect entry assistance. That's a horse chestnut. It was Tree of the Year in 2005. How do I know that? It says so on the little sign. Now let's see what's in it. The coin's a bit too thick to fit the screws. I need something sturdy to loosen the screws. Whoever said size doesn't matter was covering something up. This ladder, in particular, is way too short. Who needs a bolt cutter when head shears can do the job just as well? I've cut through the chains. Unfolded, the ladder's certainly long enough, but it's too flimsy to put weight on. I'll push the rake through the rungs of both of the ladder's legs. Still too unsteady. The rake could slip out from between the rungs if I climbed up it. Freedom for garden hoses! I'll tie the rake to the garden hose so that the whole thing becomes a bit more steady. That is a sturdy ladder. Well done, Sam. Climbing through windows. A real cat burglar me. And look, the coast is clear. Won't open. 
Professor Hartman's office. This old trick might actually work. Or then again, maybe not. The idea's right, but the plastic money didn't take the strain. A snack machine. Each of these little calorie bombs costs a cool $1.99. You only live once. I'll take a bag of crackers. My snack? And one cent change. The one cent coin is thin enough to unscrew it. Amaze balls! Ugh, I have sunk to a new low. That'll work. I'll bet my sailboat on it. Phew. Okay, Sam. Find the damn info on where our perfidious professor's gone off to. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your story, a pay rise, and that nice little sailboat you're dreaming of. The cliche that professors are not exactly neat freaks might well hold true. But surely this is taking it to the next level. Hartman really must have left in a hurry. From algae to zygopetalum, there's everything a botanist's heart could desire here. There are some scraps of torn up paper on the top. Hmm, there's some torn up paper on the top. I'll take a closer look. A ripped up fax? Now let's see if I can put this back together. That has to be the upper left corner of the document. A perfect starting point. That has to be... This expedition party sent him a fax. They've discovered some hitherto unknown species. Great, but where, for heaven's sake? Unfortunately, there's only a code here. GHN7531. But maybe that'll help me further.
Professor Hartman's expedition is coded GHN-7531. These here are the wrong files. Professor Hartman's expedition is coded GHN-7531. These here are the wrong files. This file is marked GHN-7520 to GHN-7535. It ought to contain notes from the current expedition. Bingo. GHN-7531. The expedition has gone to Ghana, to Lake Basomtui. So what the hell are they looking for there? Lake Basomtui lies in the meteorite crater in Ghana's Ashanti region. It's eight kilometers in diameter, about 80 meters deep, and doesn't have an outflow. The ecosystem and the lake are endemic, meaning there are lots of plant and animal varieties that are unique to that location. The priority is investigating the effects on the ecosystem of a massive meteorite strike. Hmm, what's that on the facts? The expedition has discovered some previously unknown organism. If the story's big enough to pull the professor away with such short notice, perhaps it's big enough to buy me a boat. Let's hit the trail for Ghana and Lake Basomtui. The flight to Accra via Amsterdam was pretty fuss-free. But the in-flight food was crappy, as expected. I was able to revive myself with some traditional foo-foo and a few Gordon Sparks in a chop shop before a bush pilot flew me into an airfield by Lake Basomtui. With a bit of luck, I'll be at the base camp in a few hours. Looks like everyone upped and left in the night. Strange. I've got goosebumps all of a sudden, despite the heat. I'm getting something of a horrible feeling here. I'd better get a move on so I can reach the Lake Basomtui camp before nightfall. Well, okay, I'll take it with me. But be aware that this is non-alcoholic piss water. Now then, any juice left in these at all? have the piss taken out of you by a crazy lady with a megaphone. Ooh, I like it. Airport terminal, Africa style. A little bit too rustic for my taste. Where's the air-conditioned bar and duty-free shop? Large scratches torn into the wood. Must have been something considerably bigger than the cat over there. The pocket knife only has this one blade, but it's extremely versatile. I can unscrew screws with it, for example. Sits around all day. Probably shows up for food and fondling. <laughs> Men. A limp sock. Reminds me of my ex. <laughs> you know what? Enough of that. Crates of provisions. Well, I'm not going to starve to death here, that's for sure. The camp lies northeast from here. That's where we want to be headed. Ugh. Where's that perverse stink coming from? Oh, right. Pumbaa. They may be cute in cartoon form, 
but in the real world, those warthog tusks should not be underestimated. Okay, away we go. Sing Hakuna Matata for me then. Great. He seems to be quite unaffected. I guess that act's only good for scaring off lechers and bars. And here's me thinking I had the act down pat. I suppose compared to most men, this pig is smart enough to tell the real thing from the crazy lady making cat noises in the jungle. Hello, Mr. Kitty. How about an interview? Thank you for the profound discussion. I'll hold the megaphone close to the voice recorder speaker. Perhaps the pig's got a cat allergy as well. Pity. Apparently not. Now I'll put the used batteries into the voice recorder. Perhaps the pig's got a cat allergy as well. <laughs> Success. Straight and long. Could be useful. Ants. I must have scared him up. <laughs> <laughs>